Hey everybody, this is not a spring check and housing prices are up, so it must be Monday. What? Really? Your house, are your housing prices that predictable? Oh, the housing sales are also, uh, the existing home sales are unbelievable, which I know is false. Hmm. Well, for now, we're going to bring along Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, yeah, because they're, uh, <laughs> here's something exciting they figured out. What did Flea Obama said? He said, you know they've discovered that every single moderate Republican that's kissed the butts of the Democrats because they're trying to be consensus makers are all under a criminal investigation at the moment. Oh, who's doing it? You mean the same people that they've been kissing the butts of to try to be able to form a consensus to show that, well, I should be next president of the United States. I should be the state. I should be the senator. I can, I can build a consensus with our with the other party, um, and it's the other party that's testifying and calling all the, bringing mm -hmm. the charges against them. Isn't that amazing? It's not the people on the right that are being criminal charged, it's the people on the moderate side of the Republican Party at all. The moderate is being taken out by the very people who are loving. And everyone is condemning Como in New York. Oh God, I mean they said that, they, basically they got a $150 million ad campaign we're open to any, we're open to this, we're open to that. Bring your thing to New York City. And he basically said that, uh, well, don't come to our state if, you're, if you believe in the Constitution. Don't come to our state if you believe in the First Amendment, the Second Amendment. Don't believe if you don't, you know, in the Fourteenth Amendment. He said, if you don't believe in abortion rights, don't come. He said, if you're a Christian or a Jew, don't come. If you believe in God, don't come. The, you know, that's, um, and they're taking it very serious and, other states are now running advertisements, unlike your state. We believe that people should have the right to say what they have to say, and that you should be able to follow your religious beliefs, and on and on and on. And So it, it's been detrimental. His people have simply, okay, and they said, oh, what a field ball. I said, he made things worse by instead of coming out and explaining that it was a mistake, he had his lawyer come out. His legal counsel come out and basically said, well, it's a right-wing Republican extremist attack on Mario Cuomo. He did it on a left-wing show with a left-wing reporter who was basically supporting his, uh, his, you know, going for the presidency. And then he, uh, I don't think I'm a left-wing reporter, and this network is definitely, right -wing, and this network is definitely does not like Republicans. So he screwed. Then Indiana lawmakers advance gay marriage ban amendment. Well, yeah, because they're going to they're going to put it this time. They're going to amend the constitution that says the uh, it says you know um, that basically marriage is between a man and a woman. That they're also going to say they've always had civil unions. The problem is is that uh, so here the trick is with a civil union you don't get screwed by the Internal Revenue Service and other people like you do with a marriage. Mm -hmm. They're finding out. What do you mean I have to pay alimony? We were only married for, for a month, and that's tough, so. And Nissan Leaf sales cross 100,000 mark. Oh, well, we know what, what, what Flea Obama just said. They're almost all the government offices around the world. They're not the people because it's a, the Leaf is basically, oh, what did they say on the news yesterday? Electric energy is now becoming more expensive and maybe soon, we soon be costing as much to charge your little bloody car as it costs to use gas. Mm -hmm. And Brown, California comes back but challenged by drought. They're not coming back anywhere. People are fleeing the state. You, okay, the film, best example is the film, in, uh, was it, uh, our new mayor is trying to make arrangements where you no longer have to pay for film permits and stuff to shoot because they just want you to spend your money here. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and they're still not doing it because the people can't afford I mean, I'm, I'm looking at people that are well-known liberal Democrats going to Europe and other places are, where they can make movies cheaper because they can't afford the, they said, what was one of the people said, it's not the union wages that gets us, it's the taxes we have to pay on everything we do. He and said the tax structure is killing the film industry. And Sprint is buying T-Mobile would even be worse than AT&T buying T-Mobile. Well, what you did, and have a, instead of a strong company buying a weak company, you have a weak company buying a weak company. If T-Mobile, what would happen is, is that if T-Mobile was purchased by Sprint, they would immediately dissolve T-Mobile, 
because there's nothing that T-Mobile has that Sprint wants except for its um, kind of customer base, that's all. You know, like $30 billion to buy the customer base. And Governor plans to aid at Detroit Pensions and save art. I know. That's basically, uh, you know, that's how Democrats work. They said that under no circumstances would the federal, would the state or federal government get involved with taxpayers' money to save uh, union workers' pensions. Well, now they they made the thing. I can understand the art stuff because what you do is you just simply uh, you you pay to keep the art museums open because. It is not a big deal, folks. Mm -hmm. And you can also get people that do have money that live in Michigan. They used to, okay, when I was young, my mother would make certain my brother, my sisters, and I would get all dressed up, and we would go to these galas being done at the museums mm -hmm. or at the civic opera, thing like that. You know, these weren't funded by tax dollars. These were funded by the people. You know, you get donors that wanted to, you know, like uh, uh, William Randolph Hearst would donate a fortune of money for the... Uh, for the for the arts, and this is how we're done today. They don't do it today. They now have the taxpayers fund everything, and when the taxpayers stop funding, the arts die. And Christie takes oath amid scandal, touts mandate. Yeah, he has no mandate. He, he, he's touting a mandate. His his approval rating has now fell to below Obama's in a state where he had an approval rating of over seventy percent. Mm -hmm. So he, he, he's it's not a matter. Of, one of his supporters said last night. It isn't a matter of if he is out of office, it's just a matter of what day he decides to resign. Ooh. Yeah. And justices ponder straw purchasers gun law. Uh, okay, what it means is, okay, when I was little, my father gave me a rifle. Mm -hmm. My father gave my brother a rifle. My father gave my sister's rifles. Under the, under the straw purchasers law, it would be illegal for him to do that today. Because you don't, you don't have direct ownership. You're giving it to someone else. Oh. Isn't that amazing? It, it, this is how it's. Uh, I mean, they get they stop gun control because they said well, that two out of every three purchases of a weapon is for someone else, not for you. And saying, oh really? Yep. Two out of three. Two out of three are meant as gifts for someone else. Oh. Well, because we can be honest. Okay, what are we intending to do? I was going to buy mm -hmm. something to give to the JC as a as a prison so she can go learn how to use it. And saying goodbye to inefficient 60 watt incandescent. I hate to tell people the that thing setting up there is a biohazard. You have to you have to dispose it as a, a hazardous waste which they didn't know when they passed the law. You know the little light bulbs that you have? You mm -hmm. just toss them in the trash. But you can't do that with a with the brand new bulbs because they're hazardous waste. If you break one of them, you basically have to treat it like hazardous waste. If you break an old bulb, they all last longer. Basically, I've never seen a new bulb that lasted as long as the old bulbs. It just doesn't work, and they're more expensive. And Boston Public Schools revive racist hiring practices from the 1970s. Oh, oh, uh, this one really got me kicked off. Uh, what is the home of the Democratic Party? Mm -hmm. It is a very liberal Boston, Massachusetts. And Ooh. somebody is saying that the Boston school system ran by the most liberals in the whole universe is racist? Ooh. Yeah. I know. Yeah. And young drivers prefer hybrids to hypercars. Well, B and S. We have been around those people at the auto shows. Where do they go to at the auto shows? Mm -hmm. They go to the great big, you know, the first time you go, oh, that's where they all head. They all want one of those. If you get, okay, a muscle car will outside, outsell a hybrid, you know, any day of the week, so. And company in West Virginia spill failed to disclose a second chemical. I don't understand how they could, they, they had two different chemicals in, in the container. One chemical was heavier than the other. It, it was like a barrel got into the system. Mm -hmm. And they had two, they want to know, uh, how can you put two chemicals in one barrel? And that's the... That's why they declared bankruptcy and went out of business, because they're trying to have to explain what they were doing with two chemicals in a barrel. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, sometimes it's best to just leave things alone. <laughs>